Hello everyone. Today in my class I am going to teach you alphabet phonic sounds. The reason I want you to learn the sounds of these alphabets is because they play a key role in English pronunciation. Sometimes even when you are speaking the perfect English grammar, the other person fails to understand what you are trying to say is because of poor pronunciation. So let us see what are the sounds of those alphabets. So these are the names of alphabets which is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I and so on. And these alphabets have their sounds which I will explain now. The alphabet A has a sound of A as in car. It's C A R. So we pronounce it as car. So if you observe clearly, the A here is sounding as A C A R. K A R car. The same way in the word A R M. The A will sound as A, arm. But if you see the word C-A-T, the sound of A will change into A, which is car. Sorry, it's cat. C-A-T, cat. The same way, if you look at the word C-A-P, cap, the sound of the letter A will be A, cap, C-A-P, cap. So the sound of A is A sound or it also can be A sound. It has two sounds. Now coming to the letter B, it has only one sound which is B as in book, B as in bat, B A. And B in the word but, B-U-T, but. So the sound of the letter B is B. Coming to C, it has two sounds. We'll see. In the word cook, the sound of C is K, cook, C-O-O-K, cook. In the word C-A-T, cat, again the sound of the letter C is k so it's c a t cat but if you look at the word c e n t it's scent we cannot say it as k kent is wrong so the sound of c here will change as c s s scent same way in the word c i r c l e the sound of the letter C will be S, circle. Now coming to the letter D, the sound is D as in dog, D as in dad. Coming to the letter E, the sound of E is E as in egg, everyone, E, everyone. Coming to the letter F, the sound is F, as in fish, father, as. Now, coming to the letter G, it has two sounds again. George, here the sound of G is J. And coming to this word, G-O-A-T, the sound of G will change into G. G-O-A-T, goat. Later on I will explain you why some letters have more than one sounds. If you follow these sounds first, later I will give you the explanation of uh, the double sounds. The letters which have two sounds, I will give you clarity in my next class. Now coming to H, it's hello, hen. So the sound of H is H. For I, it is again two. Here in ice cream, we will give the name to the letter I. Ice cream. 
so as i said these are the names a b c d the same way in the word ice cream we will give the name of the letter here ice cream but here in india it says or it gives a short e sound which is india a e, india now coming to j the sound is j juice j john you can also say jack now coming to k it has only one sound which is k as in king k as in key now l the word l has the sound of u uh, so you need to use a short u sound also u uh, and l l so lamp l a n d land in the letter m the sound is m um, so it is a voiced sound uses vibration so when you sing a song you hum right you be saying m um, like that you should pronounce the letter m m a n man m a t mat coming to n the sound is n n a m e name n the same way n u t nut coming to o it again has two sounds here in orange we use the sound of a it's not o it's a orange but coming to o w l we will say it as owl so what we will say we will say it as a w l owl coming to p the sound of this letter is p it's not p it's p so p a r r o t it's a parrot it's not parrot it's parrot coming to this word it's p e r s o n person it's not person it's person so coming to q the sound is qu it's not q when we read this word it should not be queen it should be queen qu q u e e n it's queen the same way this is not question this is question qu q u e s t i o n question coming to r the sound we should roll the r's like how we say r as in rose it's rock r o c k rock it's run r u n run coming to s it has two sounds again when there is a h beside s it gives us the sound of sh so this is shout but if you see in s i s t e r it gives the sound of s sister the same way even in this word s a r e e it gives the sound of s sari not sh so as i said i will give you an explanation of uh, these the double sounds later on now coming to t the sound is t so when we read this word t r a i n it's train coming to this word it's t e a m team now this is tooth t o o t h tooth and here the sound will change because of h beside the t we will say this as the the now u u has a sound of a uh, umbrella a uh, it should be a uh, umbrella it should not be umbrella or umbrella it should be umbrella now coming to v it gives the sound of v van v a n van v the same way ves v a s e v ves coming to w it has a sound of w w watch this is watch 
W A T C H watch W A T E R water it's not water it's not watch it is watch and water coming to x it gives the sound of x so the sound x should be xylophone it should be pronounced as x so xylophone xerox xylophone and xerox coming to y it gives the sound of i if you observe here it's d a y y so it's giving us the sound of i if i if you say it clearly you can understand y so i sound it's giving so when you read it as it sounds as day a i may m a y may yellow y e l l o w so it gives us a sound of i now the last letter it gives us the sound of c zoo zip so along with the sounds of these alphabet i also have some interesting stories for you which will help you in increasing the level of your pronunciation so the first story is trusting tracy here this story will help you in practicing the sounds of t and r together let's see everyone trusted tracy so i want you to carefully listen how i'm pronouncing each letter here e t r and all so everyone trusted tracy she always told the truth she treated people nicely she was a true friend travis tried to climb a tree it was a lot of trouble it was tricky to travel up a tree it was long trip up the tree top and the second story for you is gloria and glen it gives the sound of g and l together so let us see the story is gloria likes things that gleam glitter and glow she likes glittering glossaries she likes glowing gems she likes gleaming glass glen was very glad he was full of glee he was not gloomy he did not glare glen was very glad the third story for you is smith and smithy it gives the sounds of s and m together smith was pretty smart he was never smug he had nice smile it was a fun smirk smithy was a small bear he liked the smell of clean air he did not like smoke he did not like smog and the fourth story for you is blaine likes blocks so this story will help you in practicing the sounds of b and l together let us see blaine likes blocks he likes blue blocks he likes black and blue blocks Blake likes blue birds. He likes blue jays. He also likes black birds. He likes all kinds of black and blue birds. The fifth story for you is a prince and princess. So this will help you in pronouncing P and R together. Preston was a prince. He liked to play pranks. He was proud of his pranks. he was kind of a problem priscilla was a princess she was very precious she was prim proper she won prizes for being pretty the sixth story for you is drake draws dragons so this story will help you in pronouncing d and r together 
So Drake draws a lot. He draws dragons. He draws dragonflies. He draws things from his dreams. Drea wants to drink. Her lips is dry. Drea wants to drink of water. And the seventh story for you is wrestling and writing. So this will help you in practicing the sounds of W and R together. Ren liked wrestling, but he hurt his wrist. He wrapped his wrist. He can't wriggle his wrist yet. Mr. Wright liked to write. He was not a good writer. He wrecked poems and stories. He always wrote the wrong things. So I hope you all have understood these phonic sounds which I have taught you. And if you practice these sounds daily at least for 10 minutes, it will help you to speak English clearly and confidently. And that's all for now.